everyone. Welcome to Video Storytime. I'm Miss Megan, and today I'm going to read you a story called Gaston. And you see, Gaston is a French bulldog. This story is by Kelly DiPuccio, and the pictures are by Christian Robinson. in the corner down there. Is that? That squirrel looks just like you, gray squirrel. Yeah. Maybe he's one of your family members. Oh no, you don't think so? Well, it's true. People don't have to look alike to be in the same family, do they? Yeah. Sometimes people in a family can look very different, can't they? Yeah. All right, gray squirrel, are you ready to listen to this story? All right, take a seat on the carpet, please. Guess done. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh la la, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Ooh la la, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. And there's Gaston. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good, well done. Very nice. Nice try, Gaston. They were taught to yip. Never yap. Yip, yip, yip. Ruff. And they were taught to walk with grace. Never race. Tippy toe. Whoa! The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink. Nibble their kibble and ride in style. <laughs> Guess done. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh la la, and Guess done. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was much to see. 
daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. This was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Guess done and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters. But she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Phooey! On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. Look, the mommies look sad. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there, waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right. And it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, 
Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, ooh la la, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. Thank you for joining us for video story time. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, Josiah. Goodbye, Jeremiah. Goodbye, Alejandro, Colton, and Harper. Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye, Gino. Goodbye, Lincoln. And goodbye, Ziva. Goodbye, Joshua. Goodbye, Junior. Goodbye, Caden. And goodbye, Lily. Bye. See you next week.